and nobody raised any vo raised their voices. And also later they said that they have WMDs and we need to go in there and uh, search for them. Of course, we saw video images. I think we can now, now go uh, live uh, back to Virginia uh, to uh, some of the activists that visited Iran last year about uh, their views of Iran. Well, we were uh, talking to Captain Habib Azad, Ahmad Zadeh uh, just a few moments ago. You were just listening there to trade unionists uh, talking about their visit to Iran last year. Uh, you're watching Press TV's coverage of that meeting in Virginia and uh, commemoration for 290 people that died after uh, Captain uh, Will Rogers um, uh, ordered uh, a uh, missile strike on a civilian airliner over the Persian Gulf 20 years ago today. Uh, Captain Ahmed Zadeh, just finally, we were talking about uh, radars and about the excuses made by the United States afterwards. Um, as you said in your letter, uh, the captain won uh, a medal uh, from uh, the present president's father uh, after this strike. Are you now fearful or do you think they've learned? Would they use a Gulf of Tonkin type incident as we saw under President Johnson, uh, false flag operations? We don't really know what this achieved, the killing of so many Iranian civilians, what they were trying to do. Well, this is a scenario. Uh, were they looking for a, a pretext for a conflict and in the very last throes of Iran-Iraq war or other issues? The Germans, once they wanted to occupy Poland, they said that they had attacked our radio station. When Iraq wanted to attack Kuwait, they said that uh, Order guards had fired on their troops, and our people inside Kuwait have asked for our assistance. These are childish excuses and pretexts. Nobody would listen to these. 290 people have ceased to exist. 66 kids are no longer there. They could have become gifted students and uh, artists, painters, who knows? And also a very state-of-the-art uh, warship cannot distinguish between an Airbus and a fighter jet. Are we to believe that? And all of these are reason for renewed worries. And also Guantanamo Bay. They say that we are keeping these prisoners over here so that American laws do not cover them. And there, there's a duality here at play. How can you talk about human rights when there is such a duality at play? So on and so forth. So we are doing everything we can so that such mistakes are not repeated. And what Mr. Will Rogers did comes to mind. And we should talk about such an experience. I think he should talk about his experiences and tell other people. He refuses to I'll do so, of course. Well, I think that we are all in need of maturity, all of us. I wrote a letter, and I think it was a very civic-minded letter, and he should have responded. And in his book, Storm Center, he says that, well, in this book here, he says, I contacted the American government and my superiors told me not to write back and respond to the letter. It's very interesting. In the civilized world, we shouldn't be afraid of talking to one another. So there is, there was a question. If a medal had been given to bin Laden, everyone condemned him. So how would the American 
American people have felt if a medal had been given to bin Laden. It's unacceptable. It's unacceptable. And a person who receives such medals, can he be proud of such a medal or his kids for that matter? Well, uh, finally, uh, if we go to you, one of the uh, greatest actors in Iran, um, I know everyone here at Press TV uh, has been talking about uh, how important it, it is uh, to have you here in, in the studio. I noticed that um, Captain Ahmed uh, Zadeh talked about how there would never be a film like Titanic made about, uh, about this kind of case. Uh, perhaps that's because uh, culture, uh, culture doesn't look at, uh, especially American culture, doesn't look at cases of uh, U.S. atrocity quite the same as um, icebergs, perhaps. But um, I know that you have a letter about Iranian artists and writers who are coming together to commemorate uh, this uh, terrible atrocity. Thank you very much. Before I read the statement, this is the banner headline of Iranian dailies and also overseas dailies. They're carrying this picture. I'm going to read this statement, but as for a movies, something like Titanic, what Captain Ahmadzadeh has done, written a letter, many of my colleagues in Iranian cinema are working on different ideas to make a movie about that event. I'm going to read the statement now. In the name of God. The statement of the artists of the House of Iranian Cinema on the occasion of the 20th anniversary of the Airbus catastrophe. All human beings are in truth the same. All in creation share. I look forward to visiting you, to seeing you in our houses and also for world peace. Thank you. Professor uh, Parastuit, thank you very much for reading that uh, statement about uh, artists talking about uh, the terrible disaster 20 years ago. Thank you, uh, Captain Habib Awad Zada, as well. You've been watching uh, Press TV's coverage of the commemoration of uh, 20 years since, uh, well, the 12th of tier in the Iranian calendar when uh, IR-655 was shot down in the Persian Gulf by the USS Vincennes. Uh, we'll uh, return you to uh, normal programming now.